Welcome back, Magnus Plays. Um, <laughs> sorry, that guy came out of nowhere. Uh, so we just killed the turret, and then this thing came out of nowhere. Now we're dealing with two things. Oh boy, this gun does not have a lot of ammo left. We're gonna have to try to do this. Gonna save, gonna save, gonna save. So I took out that turret uh, through, I would say, a clever combination of something, but there was nothing clever. It was really just me running around like an idiot. Come on! Come on, machine! Man versus machine, this is it, we're taking it down! You can't defeat me! I am the wrench master! Oh, crap! Wrench master, wrench master doesn't take no for answer! Oh, crap. Oh, I beat it, but I died. Okay, do that again. Gonna do that again. Gonna have a crazy charge. Oh, what, you think you're tough? Think you're badass? Nope. I'm gonna beat you to death with my wrench. Wrench beating skills are number one in System Shock 2. This is how you play this game for sure. This is the stupid thing I'm doing. Okay, running away. Yeah, all right. Look at that, people. I feel good about that. 40 nanites. Oh, man. Let's see what's in this battery. Whole battery? Oh, man. Got so lucky. All right, we're going to save again, so I'll have to do it again. Thank you! Welcome back, Magnus Plays! Um, that was triumphant. That, that's what I feel like. I feel like I did something... Ooh, cigarettes. Oh, I'll we'll look at that later. I feel like I did something worthwhile. Huh, I don't know what those are. So now... Oop, things are broken. No, no, I need to get up places. What am I gonna do? Oh, come on. Shotgun shells. Nothing here. Anyway. So, I hope you don't like my little song. Uh, I don't want to brag, but, um... Uh, I can't sing at all, so, you know. Makes me feel pretty good about myself when I get to sing to you fine people. And you get a chance to, uh, experience my art, you know? Because, uh, I mean, this Let's Playing stuff, this is just to pay the bills, really. My real dream is, uh, of course, singing. Uh, Ooh, a jammed laser gun. We're taking that up. Oh, boy. Nope. Oh, nope. Ow! Christ. That, that thing shot me through the wall. You saw that. That was some shenanigans. That definitely shot me through the wall. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna load. So I'll also have a drink of water. Mm. Okay. Uh, you know, it's really funny. I'm just thinking about this. These kind of games, like, you know, you wouldn't think of... Ooh, what's that? Dusty. These kind of games, you'd be like, ooh, like, you know, they're not spooky. They're old. Like, the graphics are kind of... They're, they're, uh, you, you, you could say they were, uh, past their prime, and you would not be... No, no one would accuse you of, uh, lying there. But, at the same time, like, when I play these... Oh, oh, thank God, pistol. Yeah, I don't care if it's terrible. Whatever. Freaking works. I love it. Um, sorry, you had other stuff that I wanted. You had these and these. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I got a one-shot pistol. Reloaded. Jeans of that kind. I have three of those bullets. I have three... Oh man, do I have... How much do I have? I have three arm piercing bolts. Okay, gotta be careful. Um, yeah, these kind of games, you wouldn't think they're scary, but whenever I play this stuff, like, it's never... I mean, hot, modern horror games, like... Obviously games like Amnesia are fucking scary, but for the most part, uh, the games that scare me... Oh, Jesus. God. Did I miss two of those? Oh, oops, yeah, that's why. Damn it! Oh, boom! Okay, that that was a pretty epic death. <laughs> like that falling off. That was, that was very cinematic. Actually, would have been a great scene in a movie. Um. Okay, okay. all right, I'm all set up. Uh, but it's these old games that scare me. There's something about maybe it's how your maybe your imagination just fills in the gaps with these older games, so it's easier to. Ah, oh, Christ! Hit me again. It's easier. Yep, it's gonna be the background. I talk about this. It's easier for me to like really place myself on the character shooting because everything is uh, everything's a little more simplistic. So you really get like you the exchanges I'm having with these robots. Ah, oh, crap! Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't die. Look at that. The exchanges I'm having with these death bots. Oh boy. Ah, oh, Christ, you people! I'm so sorry. Also, I'm getting hiccups. Um. Exchanges with all the enemies. You know, we're just gonna, just in case I mess up, we're gonna get a little bit, of, a little bit of health. Ah, great start, great start. And now it jammed. It jammed. How do I unjam it? The repair. 
I don't have any repair skills. Mm. Okay, fine. Do this the old-fashioned way. Beating it to death. The way God intended. The final battle between man and machine is the way it was always supposed to go down. Me with a wrench and this machine getting the crap beat out of it. Ah, nope. Yeah, defeated. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, Christ, I just need a freaking repair tool. Thank you. Yes, laser thing. Yes, US. Okay, this probably has the. This is an upgrade thing, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, wow. Sorry, that was annoying. Oh, sorry. I my bearings. Okay, so. We are going back. We're leaving. Okay, I think we got the stuff. Let me just check. Let me save. Save before everything now. So I don't waste anyone's time. And let's see if we got the data we needed. I'm sure we did. Due to the tenuous situation as of late, I've already. They aren't making this easy mm. for us, are they? I miss you. No, they're not. Taking precautions, I proceeded with further experiments. Since we've reached Tau City, creature. So chimp Elaborate. stuff. Hacking well, Xerxes. Constance. Okay, got it. I was just talking to him and this cyborg came up behind him and Okay, Connie, get a grip. <laughs> get a grip. I recoded the door lock <laughs> and the control to one five oh six one. One five oh six one. I think I'll be safe. Yeah. Hold on, Jet Robot! Oh man, these weapons are about to break. I need to find a. Uh, I I need a place to get get a repair skill so I can start repairing these because these things are not gonna last. But we're almost done. We just got cargo bay two, so we're just gonna, we're gonna get out of here. We're leaving. Okay. Engine core. We're gonna go there in a minute. I want to. Oh. Okay, this is clearly a whole thing. Gang control, we're gonna go there in a minute. I wanna heal. Finally freaking found them to heal, so I'm gonna go back a level. I'm gonna heal. Sorry. You know, you recognize this is not the most exciting of things, but this is gonna keep me alive and all that like good stuff. So security room, yes. Yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna fix you and you're gonna work so much better. Um Boom. Used. Okay, let's see what I got. Weapons. Um, already real go standard weapons. Heavy weapons, no. Yeah. Eh. I care. Psy. I have no need for Psy. Of course, those are the only two upgrade units I have right now. Oh, I just need the skill ones. Oh, these are all boxes. I never really looked at these. This is not it. Oh, yeah. Um, anybody do? No. I don't upgrade weapons? No. This one's broken anyway. Oh, this is jammed, so I gotta unload it. And I can hang on to it. This thing is broken. I cannot repair it, so leave it later. Okay, sorry. Wanted to go back there. Um just talking about older games. Now this episode's almost over. Is there an point being seeing this? Alright. I was talking just about older games and how something about them always feels scarier. Maybe because yeah, like I said, it's the, the conflict's a little clearer and you can really identify everything that's going on very quickly. Like in newer games, all right, just saving. Just be cautious. Newer games is uh because everything is so spelled out for you, it can. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh damn! Oh wait, I can just blow up the uh the explosive barrels. Oh, oh okay. Whoa, sorry people. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna be going down this episode. Okay, so it makes progress. Oh, got it. Okay. Well, I gotta be careful with that. I'll use the other way though. I can do like this. I can be like, ah, and then I can be like, run away. And I can be like, oh man, boom. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Think I damaged that thing. Yeah, got him. Okay, worked out well. You tough? You ain't tough no more. Oh crap! Gotcha! Gotcha! Anybody else? Anybody else wanna dance? Oh damn, it's a monkey. You got this monkey. That yeah, monkey! 
Thought you got away from me, didn't you, monkey? Ah, oh, damn. Okay, hold on. We got too many items. Um, I am going to. Oh man, I have a lot of items, don't I? Hmm. Drink those two. That'll help a little. Toss this thing. It's broken anyway. This thing is jammed. I'm gonna need a new one. Uh, we don't need these games. None of these game players. Okay, it's a little bit. Sorry, folks. I recognize this is the most exciting part of this stuff. Oh, wait, I think this episode's actually over anyway, so let me just finish organizing my inventory here. Ah, so clean. I love it. Okay, thank you for joining me on this episode of Magnus Plays. Uh, we talked about older games. We'll talk about it more, a little bit more tomorrow. We'll talk about Morrowind, I think, specifically. So, thank you for joining me, and uh, we'll see everyone tomorrow on Magnus Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would very much appreciate it.